Let's move on to our third and final main topic today. And our third and final main topic today gets submitted to us by Joey Luca. And Joey Luca writes, Hey, John and Rob. Uh, Rob's not here today. Uh, news has come out that a Mike Tyson biopic is moving forward and multi-time nominated and Oscar winning Jamie Foxx is going to be starring as the boxing icon. Of course, this is very old news. It's just been delayed or staggered or stagnant or on the shelf for a very, very long time. Personally, there is something about this casting that just clicked for me. I think it's great. And I can really see him as this great character. Your thoughts. All right. So yeah, once again, Jamie Foxx playing Mike Tyson is a piece of news that has been around forever. I mean, a long, long, long time. And then nothing happened and it became stagnant and it went on the shelf. Well, Jamie Foxx was just on, uh, was just being interviewed and he was being asked about this. And this is what Jamie Foxx said on, uh, burn Burnham's Instagram live series, catching up on Wednesday, the relevant portion begins around the 53 minute mark. The actor, Jamie Foxx said the biopic of Mike Tyson is moving forward when asked for a definitive answer. It's a definite yes, Fox said. Look, uh, doing biographies is a tough thing. Sometimes it takes 20 years to get them done. But we officially got the real ball rolling. All right, so that comes to us from Jamie Fox, which is great. Okay, this is the first thing we've heard about, um, about this Tyson biopic actually having any movement in a long time. I do want to make one thing clear there. I hate being the wet blanket, but but do let me make one thing clear here. Just because Jamie Foxx said a certain thing a certain way doesn't mean it is absolutely 100% happening. You know, uh, Jamie Foxx said, yes, it's going to happen. And then he gave two disclaimers. One, you know, it can take up to 20 years to get a biopic made. And then the second thing is his, we've officially got the ball rolling. Getting the ball rolling is not the official green light from the studio. That they still don't have. Okay, let's be clear about that. That's Jamie Foxx saying that it has not been confirmed that an actual physical green light has been given to the film yet. That could still be a little ways off. But clearly, Jamie Foxx feels like this is going to happen. This is the thing that they're going to do, and this, this is going to happen. And that's great. That's great. The one thing I have always been interested in this movie. First of all, Iron Mike Tyson is one of the most, what's, what's the word we should say, larger than life sports figures we've ever had, Right. He's simply one of the larger than life sports figures that we've ever had in, in our culture. So there's something interesting about that. Having a guy, an Academy Award winner of the talent level of a Jamie Foxx playing Mike Tyson is another big win. That's another big win. That's great. So I have always been very fascinated by the pros prospects of this movie. The problem, of course, that I've always felt with this movie is going to be the same problem, although maybe not to the same degree, as the idea of a Michael Jackson biopic. You know, we've talked a lot before about a potential Michael Jackson biopic, but it becomes very problematic. Because if you do a Michael Jackson biopic, which things do you include and which things do you leave out? Because there are a lot of people out there who think that Michael Jackson is absolutely 100% innocent of any accusations ever made against him. And they think they have some solid proof and evidence to back that up. And therefore, if you make a biopic about Michael Jackson and you show a lot of this, this other stuff, that's going to piss off a lot of people. However, there's also a lot of people out there who are completely convinced that Michael Jackson was at least to some degree guilty of the things that he was accused of and feel that there is solid evidence for that point of view as well. So if you make a Michael Jackson biopic and you gloss over all that controversial stuff, are, is it going to become a big drama? I 100% believe that's the reason we haven't gotten a Michael Jackson biopic already. Is, is it a studio figuring, how do you even do this without pissing off half of the country and getting everybody mad at you? To a smaller degree, there are elements of that in Mike Tyson's life. And how much do you gloss over that stuff, particularly between him and his ex-wife and, and other stories? Or how much do you embrace that? 
And I've always kind of wondered if that would be one of the snags that would hold up a Mike Tyson biopic as well. But I mean, who knows? Maybe Mike Tyson is just out of place. Mike Tyson seems to be at a very serenity now place in his life where maybe Mike Tyson's like, you know what? Go into all that controversial stuff. Do it. Do it. Go into it. It needs to be talked about. Maybe that's where he's at in his life. Maybe it's other things holding it up. I'm not really sure. I do know this. I'm, I still would not bet money that this movie's going to happen. I still would not bet money this movie's going to happen. I also wouldn't bet against it at this point. But I will say I am personally still as fascinated as I've ever been to see this biopic about, again, one of the most prominent sports figures in history being played by one of the truly great actors today in Jamie Foxx. I want to see it. I'm just kind of 50-50 right now on whether or not they will actually do it. The question for you guys is, what do you think about this whole thing? Do you think they will or should move forward with the Mike Tyson biopic starring Jamie Foxx? Do you think it's actually going to happen? When you read Foxx's words, you think, yeah, that sounds like a 100% lock guarantee. Or are you like me where it's like, yeah, there's still a lot of disclaimers in that statement, and we're not hearing from the studio that it's greenlit, so let's not get too excited yet. What do you think about that right now? Jump down in the comments section below and let me know your thoughts. All right, guys.